Easy DIY ways to decorate closet doors. You'll find a wide range of decorative ceiling medallions at most home improvement centers. While these are typically used to surround a ceiling light fixture, there's no reason you can't use them to add a touch of luxe to your closet doors. Attach the medallion to your door, paint both door and medallion, and then add an attractive knob. You'll find the full instructions at 1 King's Lane. Here's a closet door makeover that's guaranteed to win compliments from visitors, colorful, upholstery, adorned with a geometric pattern in nailhead. What a fantastic way to add not just color, but elegant style to your room. This project takes a little more time than the others, but the results are well worth it. Choose a cheery color of vinyl to brighten up your space, go moody with a dark navy or black, add sophistication with gray or silver vinyl, warm up a dark room with a jewel tone like the emerald shown here, whatever strikes your fancy. Once the vinyl is in place, it's a simple procedure to hammer nailhead strips, you'll find a wide range of nailhead colors, shapes, and finishes at home improvement centers or craft stores, with your pattern of choice. Head over to Design Sponge for the details on this fun DIY project. Looking for a great way to update a boy's room, or give a touch of industrial chic to your bedroom? Or are you just tired of boring louvered doors anywhere in your home? Check out the metal beauties shown here, what a great makeover! To achieve this look, you'll need a roll of thin aluminum flashing, you want it just thick enough to hold its shape, but flexible enough for easy cutting. Beware, the edges can be very sharp, so wear gloves and be cautious when cutting the flashing. Once you have the pieces cut to your door's dimensions, use liquid nails to attach the metal. Add new knobs that match the aluminum, and you're done. Read more about the project at Unpretentious Style. Here's a closet door makeover that even your kids can handle. Not only that, but this one is suitable for renters. All you need is a few rolls of Japanese paper washi tape, you'll find a huge range of colors, patterns, and widths at craft stores or online. Be sure to use washi tape, not decorative duct tape, if you want to be able to remove the tape without damaging the door eventually. Once you have your tape, use it to create whatever design you like, stripes in any direction, the vertically striped door shown here is from Sweet and Lovely Crafts, a cityscape silhouette, a simple tree or even a phrase. If your bedroom still has the enormous sliding mirrored closet doors so popular in the 1980s, it's time for an update. You don't have to remove the doors entirely, while they are a bit dated now, they do help make a small room look bigger, and they are a great way to check out your outfit from head to toe before leaving for work. Instead, visit your local home improvement center for a can of frosted glass spray paint. Use painter's tape or stencils to block off the portions of the mirror you want to remain untouched, and then apply several light coats of spray frost, letting the spray dry between each coat. Once finished, remove your stencil or tape and enjoy your updated closet doors. This is even good for renters because the spray frost removes easily with acetone or by scraping with a sharp blade. Read more about the process at Two Loonies and a Penny, the creators of the doors shown here. Complement any formal or traditional decorating style by creating faux trim around your closet doors. It couldn't be simple just use painter's tape to block off a rectangular inset on the doors, then cover the entire surface with a coat of paint in your favorite color. Once the paint is dry, remove the tape and voila! Your door has a touch of easy elegance. You'll find the complete directions at the sweetest digs. Get the double whammy of pattern and texture with architectural trim. You can use this technique on standard closet doors, but if you want to try this on sliders, be sure to choose a very shallow trim and check that there's enough clearance before permanently attaching the trim. With so many types of trim available, you're sure to find one you love. Once the trim is in place, give your doors a fresh coat of paint and enjoy your bedroom's new appearance. You'll find complete directions at a beautiful mess. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos. And please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.